blur welcome back so now you know how to create gray blur sepia invert opacity saturate contrast brightness and hue rotate effect using css image filters so now in this model we are going to learn about a drop shadow effect okay so you can create any pixels a drop shadow effect of that okay so for that let's visit to our creator and now you can see create a page that's called drop shadow drop shadow html okay and now go to hurate it copy it paste it here and go up and change this class name to be drop shadow and let's get back to our style sheet and here at the very end let's comment it to be a drop a drop shadow page and here let's apply drop shadow and let's apply a filter okay so it's drop shadow so in drop shadow actually your value is based on pixels okay so how much pixel you want in x axis in y axis how much blur you want and even which alpha transparency you want okay so let me show you uh, i want 15 pixel in x axis 15 pixel in y axis 10 pixel blur and rgba will be in black so zero this is a, a color code of a black okay it's zero 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 and i need uh, rgba it's 0 0.8 alpha transparency it's 80 percent okay so let's uh, create a same filter for um, webkit and moss so save our time and copy it paste it here and here just apply webkit okay and this is for moss it's moss and now when i just visit to our drop shadow and click here for live preview and now you can see it's applied okay so this is the drop shadow of these pictures okay you see this is really awesome so you ever wonder that how to create that well this is really easy with css okay so like if you so if you increase it then it will going to be like more more drop shadow okay so like, where you want to increase in x axis or y axis let's take in uh, x axis okay so make it 30 pixel and now you see it's x axis okay see it's here and this is y axis so let's make it uh, long very very long okay it's 50 pixels on y axis so you can see now if you refresh it see it's y axis it's go down so this is how you create your drop shadow effect okay so if you want then you can actually make it on hover so if i put hover and then you can see this image is really normal but if i go here you can see drop shadow drop shadow drop shadow drop shadow so you can create a very cool effect really this is so awesome okay so now you know how to use a drop shadow so go and use it okay and so now i'm going to use same process <laughs> adding it here okay so for that i just print screen on my keyboard same and just paint paste and in this time i'm going to just copy it here it's look like a drop shadow okay drop it resize it to 50 and save it as a drop shadow shadow close it and get back to our code editor and here i will just put a link that will be drop shadow drop shadow okay and here i just i drop shadow you can see and here too okay and now copy it go here 
paste it save it 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 and blur paste and save it save it save it and now you're done <laughs> okay so now if I just go back to here and if I click here on drop shadow you can see here drop shadow click here and now you can see it's going to appear here so this is really so awesome <laughs> okay so this is how you make drop shadow of your image so thank you so much and uh, see you in the next module